Grand Rising, how are you doing? Just want to share a thing with you. I was walking the other day, yesterday, and the Most High, he said, daughter, the very first time that the enemy chose to deceive creation in the Garden of Eden was by offering the bait of knowledge. Okay. And he was offering the bait of knowledge to Eve without the covering, her covering of her husband being there to break down that knowledge for Eve's understanding and comprehension. The enemy manifested himself through a serpent. That speaks to a whole nother level of how you receive knowledge. You see, we need knowledge, but we also, with the knowledge, we need the Ruach HaKadosh, the truth of the word of the Most High, to show us what to do with that knowledge. See, just, <clears throat> just excuse me, <clears throat> just having knowledge without the leading and the guidance of the Ruach HaKadosh is a very dangerous thing. Eve was very intrigued by the proposition of knowledge. But she was also deceived by it. Our people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. True, it's in the word. But along with the lack of knowledge, it is the rejection of knowledge and of wisdom that dominoes, that causes the domino effect that snowballs into deception, full-blown deception. When the, nef when, when the watchers who are supposed to be watching us decided to share knowledge with creation, who did they share knowledge with? See, see, the watchers, they decided to sleep with the daughters of men. Oh, y'all not gonna like me. He, they decided to sleep with the daughters of men, but not only did they, they sleep with the daughters of men, not only did they procreate with the daughters of men, but everything that they created, everything that they birthed. See, y'all think that everything that's birthed is of Yah. And I keep telling y'all, I've been telling y'all, I'm trying to tell you that for years, but you've not been listening. Everything that's birthed is not from the Most High. We want to celebrate birth of this and birthing that and birthing this and birthing this into the natural realm. And blase, blase, blase. Nephilim was birthed into the natural realm too. What does that mean? Because you gave birth. I'm not celebrating you because you gave birth because you did something. What spirit, what Ruach is behind what you birth? The watchers gave knowledge to the daughters of men. The watchers, man, they, they manifested and transformed themselves into human beings, huh? So that they can give seed to the daughters of men to create the Nephilim. But then unto the daughters of men and everything that they birthed, the Nephilim, the watchers also gave and shared knowledge. Go read your book of Enoch. I know some of y'all are all spooky and scary and don't want to read the don't want to read the holy scriptures, but you need to read that book. That book will transform you. You're not, you, you will get real knowledge and understanding as to what's going on. They dispense knowledge to the Nephilim and to their mothers and to everything that was born forth from them. Knowledge on how to perform witchcraft. That came from the watchers. Knowledge about t technology. That came from the watchers. 
knowledge on how to build weapons of war. That came from the watchers. Hmm? So knowledge alone, yes, we need knowledge, definitely. But no, knowing what to do with that knowledge is key to walking in kingdom authority and purpose. And it's the, the deciding line or whether you are walking in the Ruach in kingdom authority and power and whether you're walking in rebellion and witchcraft. And ever since they came down here and co-mingled with the daughters of men and dispensed their knowledge and they still trying to find ways to dispense knowledge to this day. The metaverse. Yeah, I'm going to go there. CERN. Everything that they've, all the knowledge that's being dispensed and information that's being dispensed and turned into knowledge in this day and hour where they're trying to turn everything they're trying to transform everything to operate in a virtual reality. I've been telling y'all this for years, but nobody don't listen to me. Where did that knowledge come from? Be careful and mindful of where you get information and knowledge from. Don't reject knowledge because you destroy it because of lack of knowledge. Get knowledge, but in all you're getting, get understanding too. Seek the most high for wisdom on what to do with the knowledge once you get it. Once he reveals the truth to you that sets you free. You need to know what to do with it to be free. Because if you're not free from the knowledge that you're gaining, the information that you're gathering, you got to question where you're getting your information from. You got to question where you're getting your knowledge from. What spirit, what Ruach gave them that knowledge? And the Most High will show it to you. It's important. It's imperative. There's some people that, that spout some, some powerful truths and stuff that I agree with. But because I know what spirit they're operating in, I know what Ruach, to come, where it comes from, where it emanates from, I can't listen to them. The word talks about the spirit of truth. The Ruach of truth. Be careful. Be mindful. Yeah, your mind comes into, uh, does play a part in your discernment process. Be mindful of who you get your information from, who you get your knowledge from. The word says that the Ruach will teach you all things. Take whatever it is you, whatever information you gather and study and then present it before the Most High and say, show me what you want me to know, Father. Because I, I long for your truth, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth, the spirit of truth. Now, don't accept something from somebody because that's your favorite preacher. It's your favorite prophet, favorite prophet and prophetess, apostle, bishop. Uh -uh. What spirit they come in? What, what spirit are they operating out of? What Ruach? There are many, many many rocks and many spirits. You need to find out which one is dispensing knowledge to you. People is tapping into the spirit realm by smoking weed. Whatever you get after you to smoke weed ain't from the most high. It may be some truth to it. But because you can't, you got it from another realm outside of the Ruach HaKadosh. Do you understand? Spirit of truth and spirit of error. Y'all be blessed.
on this fake Sabbath day.